Good morning, everybody. This is Johnny Seville for your executive summary for stock setups for today, November 2nd. Now, of course, the ADP numbers are out today. And we can go over to Forex Factory, which is a great website for looking at this kind of data. You can see very quickly all the key information that's coming out during that day is listed right here. And we can see right, um, we've got ADP non-farm employment change uh, forecast 166,000 and as we talked about in trading room last night we we're looking for a number under 150 it's 147 so it's not going to be a pounding crash the uh, the futures are not down significantly yet uh, in fact if we go over and look at the S&P futures you can see we're down uh, uh, the SPX is at 210 uh, or the spies down at 210.71 so you can see basically we've had that little pullback um, now uh, uh, as, you, as I mentioned in trading room last night, the kind of thing that I was looking for on the SPY was that we would, um, uh, today, the ideal kind of short pattern is if we can fill this kind of uh, gap, if we just go to the hourly chart, if we can fill this gap up to around 2.15, you know, somewhere where we kind of get a candle between 2.10 and 2.15 or even 2 13 with the moving averages this area and we can top out there and fill that resistance and then turn and then start closing below that that would be the ideal short signal um, for a, a potentially getting back into UVXY if you're not into that uh, I'm I'm in and holding that um, but uh, that that would be basically a confirmation short signal we get a, a top out candle and then a reversal candle obviously a break below the, yesterday's low of um, 2097 also signals a further decline but obviously I like that uh, that the the run up and then the reversal would kind of be the ideal uh, trade I'd be looking for on, on uh, in terms of further weakness in the S&P. But obviously that's less than expected, so we are expecting to see uh, a soft market or a more bearish activity potentially today. And of course with open range setting yesterday, um, what we really want to see is the market to uh, to break. Uh, to break the lows and close three points below the lows of yesterday. Okay, now in terms of a quick couple of updates, of course QSR triggered into its entry zone yesterday. We're looking at that as a, uh, a downward head and shoulders, and we were looking for the... Um uh, looking for entering those uh, $45 um, uh, puts that uh, uh, that we discussed in trading room on Tuesday and of course in the uh, summary yesterday. So that looks like that has uh, now triggered. You can obviously see details of that trade in the nightly uh, newsletter. Um, uh, also, uh, we've seen uh, some pretty some pretty fantastic performance across the board with uh, XYL gapping down on earnings yesterday. Um, we were looking at the um, the January $50 puts. It hit its exit. exit criteria upon that gap down yesterday uh, resulting in uh, what it was a 92% movement on those puts um, of course uh, one of my favorites that uh, just went through its entry criteria yesterday as well was URI United Rentals URI uh, one of my favorites from a current list you can see is a rising wedge formation uh, that's just uh, broken down um, obviously that has already triggered its entry criteria but uh, still looks good and of course um, these were the 75 dollar December puts we had uh, suggested taking a look at and um, those traded as high as uh, five dollars which was uh, up significantly from where Strath suggested them at at a dollar eighty um, in terms of the entry criteria we were looking at um, that's that was those prices were a little bit higher but nevertheless that's uh, I think those were as much as five dollars yesterday but that still looks good we're looking for that to decline to around the sixty dollar price range um, of course, uh, EQY also doing very well. Also, uh, it's very near its first um, uh, first uh, uh, price criteria. Of course, I bought, um, I loaded the. Uh, to everyone that I was buying the put on that um, before earnings last week for a bit of fun that's worked out nicely uh, and of course but if you, if you are trading that that is uh, that is doing very well and it's looking like an inverse head and excuse me a a uh, descending neckline head and shoulder as well uh, in terms of earnings uh, be aware of TTWO take two earnings is aftermarket today and that's uh, uh, that has got a quite a, um, a a bearish nature to it of course uh, we had originally alerted that back uh, when it broke down out of this upward channel and I uh, had that nice big drop and we th that was that hit that first uh, profit taken criteria there it then rallied back up it's bounced along this resistance and you can see it's now uh, pushing down for a further decline now really what we want to see is this breakdown below this uh, this um, kind of 
uh, possible support zone. Um, they, they again, the earnings is going to be a risky event. So uh, again, I, I would I only trade options into earnings. So if you're going to want to play that and want to hold that, just be aware if you are in the stock position. Otherwise, I like this still as a long-term short very much, and um, and we'll see uh, see what earnings brings. But um, there's TTWO. <coughs> Now, in terms of uh, new positions, um, I want to bring a couple of cu couple of potentials to your attention. Uh, ATVI Activision is starting to break down. Uh, I'd be looking. This is a uh, we've been looking at this for quite a long time. Now, um, uh, earnings beware. These do, they they do report after market on November third, but. Um, for a, a potential longer term play, if you're willing to hold to the risk of earnings, I would be looking for a break below 42.43. Um, my target on this is 39.43 uh, as the first target. 33.33 is the second target. But the long term play on this one, that's based off these Fibonacci's, but the long term play is actually looking at this as a potential large scale head and shoulders pattern. And uh, I'm looking at the 28.13 as, as the uh, longer term target. So for that, I'm looking at a um, uh, the, for the 42.43 um, entry criteria, but um, let's have a look. But the stop loss criteria I'd be looking at would be above, using the daily chart, and looking at above the higher that candle. So I'd be looking at 45.67 uh, as a stop criteria. And uh, to play that, I would look at the May $44 puts, which are currently $3.95. Okay, now you can see the money flow is starting to taper off there. Now, second would be a more of a stock play. You could look at the options as well, of course, but uh, I like this as a possible bear flag. Uh, I would wait for this to break down. I'd look for this to break below $68. Uh, I'd look at a stop of $70.73, so there's a risk of $1.73 in terms of distance from entry criteria to the stop criteria that our strategy suggests. Uh, and I look at a target of $62.13. So there's just uh, just around, roughly, let's say, $2 of risk if you wanted to round up, but there's um, uh, over $6 of reward. So, yeah, roughly 3 to 1, but it's actually a bit better than that. So uh, I like that as a bare flag, and that's in the machine uh, diversified machinery area. Um, uh, also, LYB is the other one I like. Now, Leidendell, Basil, they've already had their earnings, um, and they are up slightly about 1% before market, which is going to basically fill that resistance quite nicely. Um, this one really looks good. There's got a lot of insider selling on this from uh, uh, one of the key figures, which is one of the top wealthiest men in uh, in the world, in fact. One of the wealthiest billionaires in the world is has been selling off uh, in droves on this. Uh, interestingly enough, long term, you can see that this is actually a, a, um, a descending triangle, and that's what I uh, kind of think is quite interesting interesting about this one. Uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now we've had one, two, three, four, almost five touches now. And so not I wouldn't normally suggest getting in before the breakdown, but we do have an, a, a head and shoulders here. We already have had earnings. I can't see what else would lift this stock, um, considering the earnings beat, and there's not really been much of a positive impact on the stock. So on LYB, this one be my, may be well ready to go, and I would look at the $80 March puts, which is six 20 and uh, I would be looking at a, a target this is this is a longer term potential play I'd be looking at a target for as much as thirty dollars on this one and uh, this is a big one play that uh, that I would kind of be uh, looking for we've talked about it in trading room and in the big one so I wanted to share it with you here and um, uh, of course the uh, in terms of a stop criteria I'd look at 85 um, uh, excuse me 84.77 is the stop criteria. Now, November is set to be an extremely exciting month with many catalysts around the corner. This is the perfect time to be armed with the best research and alerts at your fingertips. So give Acorn Wealth's Gold Service a try. It's only $9 for an entire month. That's less than a coffee every day. And uh, that'll give you an opportunity to get these video alerts every single day with written reports as well to go with them. Access to our coaching department whenever you need us, as well as live trading rooms on Tuesday and Thursday. You can check it all out at acornwealthcorp.com forward slash gold. For nine bucks, it is well worth the try and a trade that is well worth taking. Hope to see you soon. Take care.